What's up, it's Brenner Murphy from End and Counterparts. These are my 11 favorite breakdowns, the heaviest breakdowns, the best ones. First breakdown on my list, probably the best breakdown I've ever heard in my entire life. Probably the best, at least metalcore song. It's the best song I've heard that isn't K-pop. The Year Summer Ended in June by Misery Signals. I don't know what I don't know what to say about it. It's you know the lore is there. You can look it up. You can understand why it's as emotional as it is. But it's probably like the main reason why we're a band. I I remember like I used to download music illegally. Sue me, still do. But I also used to as well. Uh, and um, when I saw the album art for of Malice, I was like, damn, that looks kind of that looks kind of cool. Like let's do that. That song specifically like changed my life. Like gave me a career, like that's why Counterparts sounds the way it does. Like that was like one of my early introductions to 2000s Trust Kill, Ferret, Metalcore era. So it can't be beat, it can't be beat. It's the best, it's the best breakdown I think I've ever heard in my life. So my second heaviest breakdown is Nerdy by Poison the Well. It wasn't the first Metalcore breakdown like that I've ever heard. Obviously, like once I, you know, going back to uh, your summer ended in June, uh, I started working backwards with, you know, that like melodic metal chord. Basically the bands that Counterparts rips off, like Halud and Poison the Well and all that stuff. And um, I went back and I heard Nerdy and like, I think it's the oldest actual breakdown on this list. I'm sure I heard it before, like I did, um, you know, I was like, going to shows and stuff. Maybe not the heaviest shows, you know, maybe that, you know, maybe not shows that had 11 heavy breakdowns. I think it came out in 99. So I was eight years old. So how do you top that? Like, imagine that being your first record. I'd be a millionaire. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to, you know, use my emergency credit card to go to the dentist. So shout out Poison the Well, love them. Third heaviest breakdown. I hope nobody's keeping track of order, by the way, because I don't know, I was kind of drunk when I wrote it, so it's fine. But uh, the third one in the list is Listless by Unbroken Wings. Another like earlier band that I kind of had to like work backwards with, like one of the first tours that Counterparts ever did, it was like a week or something with a mirror and I want to say a textbook tragedy was on it, but the tour manager for Amir was John Blake. I hope I, I hope that's his name uh, from Unbroken Wings. Yeah, so I was like, oh, like yeah, like I'll, I'll check that out. You know, work backwards. That was the first time I heard like the same part but slower kind of breakdown. I think one of the last times I ever like moshed was to Unbroken Wings, like on Long Island, and immediately got smoked you know, giant goose egg on my head. We were up next, we had to play next. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's, you know, that's that was my 20s behavior. Now I'm 31, I try to stay a little bit safer, but violent, violent stuff, violent stuff for sure. Fourth best breakdown, best, you know, subjective, but yours, you know, uh, coming from yours truly. It's uh, Sentiments of You by It Dies Today. <laughs> Again, like also one of the first like, you know, early 2000s trust kill, you know, I think I saw like a promo photo and they had eyeliner on. So I was like, yeah, sign me up. Like I'm good for this. Like, so my introduction to the band was the Cative Choir. As soon as I heard my promise, like that opening breakdown, like I was, I was hooked. I remember um, I was like, we were driving through just, you know, on like some Canada, like full Canada, like misery tour. We were driving uh, through like Northern Ontario and it's like, there's nothing around. There's not even gas stations. Like the amount of times we've just like ran out of gas and had to like figure it out in the middle of, you know, like five hours north of Sudbury. I remember there was one night specifically that I was driving back when they used to let me drive at night. I was driving Jesse with shotgun and we loved Gate of Choir so much. And then he's like, yeah, like they had like an EP before it. And he put it on and I was like, Fuck, like, where have I been? You know, I'm like, this is, this is something. So just that classic Hellfest shit. Fifth best breakdown, um, I got the banner, Funerals. Again, like, I think I gotta give it to Jesse. He used to have all the the mosh stuff cued, but um, 
the first record that we did with Will Putney uh, was Helen Home. I remember we were talking about like breakdown parts or something, like I had no idea. You know, like I, I referenced this, this breakdown just because it's like, it's insane. Oh, please God, I can't take another fucking funeral. Like that's like an insane line and the breakdown is so hard. And I was talking to him about it and he's like, oh yeah, like I did that record. And I was like, what? Like I, I had no idea. Uh, we, we played with him at like Game Changer in Jersey once and yeah, I don't know, just just weird, like hyping up this breakdown and it's like, I think it was like Will's idea. And then it's like, all right, whatever, I guess you're gonna record everything. Anytime I open my mouth and yell, you're gonna record it until I'm dead. So it was just a, you know, it was a cute little moment. But uh, but yeah, that breakdown is, the whole record is so hard. Just, just insane. Six best, wow. Six, sixth best breakdown. God, I can't even fucking talk. It's uh, it's Red Wedding by The Bled. The first time I ever heard The Bled um, was back back in like MSN Messenger days. Emo swoop, like straighten my hair every morning before school type type beat. Like it was right when you could send like voice notes like on through MSN. I was in like a big group chat and somebody sent the end to an like to another Bled song. Uh, I think it was like Porcelain Hearts, like the I Burn Alive For You. Like I heard that and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like this is the craziest shit I've ever heard. I think like at that point, like the heaviest thing I had heard was like the used maybe. So I'm like, yo, this is like, this is like violent stuff. This is, this is good. I remember specifically like listening to it as I was skateboarding at my, like I wasn't in, I don't think I was in the sixth grade, but it's where this, like the school I went to when I was in the sixth grade. They had a shit hot like stair set out front and like me and my friends would always skate it. And I remember like hearing this breakdown and just being like, all right, like this, I think, yeah, I think this is gonna be who I am for like a long time. Seventh best breakdown ever, fact, scientific. Um, it's uh, American Hollow by Martyr AD. They're like, they're Victory alumni too. They were in Tony's camp, same as us. Like Poison the Well and Shai Halud and all that stuff. Like I, like I had to work backwards. I had heard of Disembodied. I had heard of it. I wasn't like, I didn't really like understand it fully. Like I think just cause I was like young and I was like, this doesn't, why doesn't this sound as good as the other stuff? But I know they share members and Martyr AD was like the, you know, or actually, I, I mean, I guess, I guess I worked forward. Cause I was in, I was in a Disembodied first and then I heard, you know, I listened to Martyr AD and, you know, that whole record is just, it's just the cra like the craziest shit. You know, every song on this list, I'm like, damn, like maybe our breakdowns like aren't even that hard, you know? But there's some end ones, you got it, you got it. But yeah, it's weird to think that like back in the day, it was like, you know, no offense to Hawthorne Heights. I love you guys. You're my friends, you know, JT, don't, don't call me over this. Yeah, it was wild that Victory was putting out like Hawthorne Heights stuff and Taking Back Sunday records and all that stuff. And it was like, and then you just have this like, I'm inside of you breakdown, like the craziest shit I've ever heard. Like, can't even think of the word. Can't even think of the word. Forget it, forget it, whatever. Next one, next one, number eight. Breakdown number eight. Your shirt would look better with a Columbia necktie by I Killed a Prom Queen. What an era of like song names like that. Like, oh, what do we name this one? It's like, I don't know, like write a fucking book, like write a full essay and like just call it that. Again, like early on, like one of the first like breakdowns I've ever heard. I didn't even know it was called a breakdown. Like I, th I swear to God, it was in like the eight, eighth or ninth grade or something. And uh, my like high school band, I was trying to like explain the part that I wanted to write. And I was like, you know, the part where it's like the guitar like chugs like once and then it's just cymbals and snare. I'm like, we need more of those. And I was talking about, I killed the prom queen. I think I heard like when goodbye means forever on like someone's MySpace profile or something like that. But this one really did it for me. Everyone here who ble who breathes will fucking die. Like what? Like just, just insane. The first, like actually the first counterparts promo we were still called like Brigade. It's like a street near me. I'm wearing like the snake zip up 
like with the two yellow, it's like a black, it was a black hoodie with like two yellow snakes. I saw them play in Toronto. Like I had to like beg my parents to let me go. Cause it was like, I'm from Hamilton. It was like 40 minute bus ride, whatever. But yeah, that's another early one. Yeah, really, uh, really did a number on me for sure. I think that was the first time I ever moshed. So thanks for ruining my life. I killed the prom queen, appreciate it, rocks. Number nine, best breakdowns, 18 visions, towers, like tower of snakes. I don't know, like you've all seen the meme with the kid at the wrestling match. He's holding a sign that just says Tower of Snakes Breakdown. Like, I don't know how to, I don't know how else to like, you know, it's, it's above me. I can't put it into words. And just toured with 18V. They were doing like a vanity 10 year tour. I didn't want to ask, you know, I was like, I don't know if it's like disrespectful or whatever, but I was definitely hoping they were going to do this one. And like, sure enough, they ended every single set with it. I'm pretty sure they like slowed it down too. And it was like, you know, yeah. That actually might've been the first time I heard like panic chords, like the, I don't know what they're called. I'm, I just yell, I don't play shit. Like dissonant chords, whatever. Like, I think that was one of the first times I heard those. And look at me now, mom, I'm doing great. So number 10 on the best breakdowns, Redemption for the Innocent, All Out War. Solely because they yell their own name. They yell their band name. I remember I heard that and I was like, holy shit, you can do that? I know it's not like not relatable. I mean, it is for me kind of, but like when I got into K-pop, like all the groups do that. Like they all like yell their own name. And I thought, I was like, that's the hardest shit I've ever heard. And like, that's literally why in like Pariah, we say like your fucking end. Cause it's like, oh, like yelling your band name's hard. It's like similar to with counterparts. It's like like yelling your area code is just hard. Like it's just, it's just hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was like the first time I heard it. And I was like, this whole time I've been allowed like to do this. Again, definitely had to work backwards to figure that record out. Yeah, I think that record came out when I was six, but still one of the hardest things I've ever heard in my life. Last but not least, the biggest and the best breakdowns that have ever happened, um, the ones I have on Twitter. I have seasonal depression, but I also have regular depression too. It's cheaper than therapy. I don't know what you want. Like 150 bucks an hour versus free, you know? And maybe I make some people laugh, whatever. I don't know why I am the way I am. I don't know what I, like why I do this, but thanks for uh, thanks for the retweets, you know? Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for, uh, for being my counselors, for sure. Yeah, definitely the heaviest, for sure. I mean, emotionally. Whatever. My brain is fully cooked. Like, uh, I don't know if it's the fact that I listen to breakdowns during my formulative years or whatever. Like, I don't know. I didn't hit puberty. I just hit dumb, basically. That's it. That's it for me. Brennan Murphy from Counterparts and End and Twitter.com. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.